Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create a membership website. This is the type of website that you can apply directly onto your current business idea of a membership. So if you follow this step by step, you will not go wrong. Now there are some tools that I'm going to be recommending. Now the links to that will be in the video description below. And these tools are tried and tested. I currently use them in my setup because I also run a membership website. So before we get started, let's take a look at the website that we'll be designing throughout this tutorial. So over here we have this hero area and this area here, I've intentionally added this dark area here to make it easier for people to read this message. And I'll show you step by step how I managed to do this using Divi. Now over here on the bottom, this is where we have our memberships. So I'll show you as well how I created this uh, area here for our memberships. And I also created actual memberships so people can purchase them. So when you click here on get started, this will take you, actually take you to the membership page. So let's go ahead and do that. So if I click over here, this now takes us to the membership page. And now the users can actually read what the membership is about. There's also some information here. The pricing is here. They can add to cart. And once they've added to cart here, they can go ahead and view the cart, make a purchase, proceed to checkout. And this is where our membership kicks in because this setup I'm going to show you is going to connect with ConvertKit, which is my email autoresponder of choice. But of course you can use pretty much any email autoresponder. This setup is very, very flexible. Okay, so now that I've shown you how people can purchase these memberships, this here is the page which I just created just as a page for members. So anyone who has the gold membership should have access to this. In order for us to see if this works is to open new incognito mode because right now I can access this page because I'm actually working on the website. So let's say I open new incognito mode and I paste the same URL. So this is what everyone would see if they don't have a tag. So I'm just gonna hit enter here and this directs you to this error page. Now this error page was uh, created and set up so that anyone who doesn't have access to a specific membership level will get this error page and they also have a call to action. So if they click here, in fact, the message here says the content you're trying to access is for members only, click here to become a member. So if I click here, it's gonna take me to my homepage where I'm able to choose the membership that I need to in order for me to get access to it. So you can click here on get started and this should take me to this membership here. Once I purchase it, I will then have access to it. And setting up uh, access to these pages or these blogs is very, very easy. It's all tag based. And I'll show you step by step how to create this. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. So it's time now to take a look at what you're going to need in order for our membership website to work. So first of all, I highly recommend that you have a page builder. So this could be either Breezy, Elementor or or Beaver Builder, or even Divi. But of course, my personal favorite is Divi. I also have quite a lot of courses on how to design websites using Divi, and I've also made quite a lot of tutorials. So this video will be beneficial if you're going to be following this using Divi, because that's what I'll be using. But of course, you can use the same techniques with any other page builder. Okay, so over here, I'm just gonna show you what I've installed so far. So if I come over here to themes, you'll notice that I've gone ahead and installed Divi right here. Now let's take a look at the plugins and what we need for this to work. So over here on the plugins, I've gone ahead and installed WooCommerce. Now the reason why we need WooCommerce is we need a way of taking payments from anyone who's interested in our memberships. So this is why we installed WooCommerce. So there's this also new plugin called WooCommerce Admin. Now this is quite interesting because this shows you all the stats of what is happening on your website. So I've also gone ahead and installed this and these these are absolutely free. So WooCommerce and this WooCommerce admin is 100% free. Let's take a look here at the interface of this analytics. So over here, if I click on analytics, in fact, if I mouse over here, you see we have revenue, orders, products, and so on. So if I click on revenue, it just gives me an idea of how my website is performing. But of course, we don't have any memberships right now. So nothing is showing, everything is zero. The first stage now is to just make sure we run this uh, WooCommerce to make sure that it install it installs all the pages that we need. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna come over here to plugins one more time. 
So you see here on the top, it says run setup wizard. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. So over here, this is where you can choose your country. So right now I'm in the United Kingdom, but of course there's uh, quite a lot of companies here that you can choose from. You can see you have Ukraine, United Arab Emirates, we have US and so on. So the list is quite long. So you should be able to find your country over here. Uh, here is where you choose your currency that you're going to use for your membership. So if you want to use, let's say the US dollar, you can just come over here and search for it, and here it is. So maybe you may want to be, uh, you may want to use US dollars. You can go ahead and select that, and then over here, uh, help WooCommerce improve with usage tracking. Of course, you can keep this activated, but of course, it's up to you. So the next stage now is the payment. So let's go move on to the next step. So I'm just gonna click here on let's go. In fact, you know what? It's actually good that I've tried to do this because you need to make sure you fill in all these spaces here before you move on to the next step. Okay, so I've edit, entered my address there. So I'm gonna click on let's go. So now we're on the payment stage. This is where you want to make sure that you create a Stripe account. Now the Stripe account allows you to accept debit cards or credit card payments. And PayPal, of course, I think you know what PayPal is. So people that have PayPal accounts are able to purchase your products using PayPal. So I'm just gonna activate it here and just leave these default emails. Now, these emails are not the proper emails, by the way. So you need to make sure you set them up correctly. So I'm gonna click on continue. So here we have shipping. So since this is gonna be a membership website and everything's going to be pretty much happening on the website, nothing's going to be shipped. So we're just going to disable all this because we don't need any, any shipping items here. Okay, so again, we're just gonna get rid of that and let's move on to the next step. So here we have automated taxes, MailChimp, Facebook. So I'm just gonna de deactivate all this. We don't really need this. Now let's go move on to the next step. So this is where we get to activate this. And again, it's going to try and uh, encourage you to set up Jetpack. Now, to be honest, I don't use Jetpack, so I'm just gonna skip this step. So now pretty much we are ready. So you can start by creating all your products. You can import products if you have any, but of course we're not gonna be doing that. All right, so now that everything is all set, we have our all, all our pages set. So let's go ahead and fix that. So I'm just gonna come back over here to our website and I'm going to go to my dashboard and make sure that over here on the top, all our links are working okay. So I'm just gonna delete that just to clean this up a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna come over here to appearance and then I'm gonna click on menus. So here are some of the pages that were created when we set up our WooCommerce plugin. So I'm just gonna click on all these because these are quite important and we might also need, okay, we have account. So let's add this one here and choose add to menu. Right, so what we're gonna do here is we're going to just create a drop down here. We don't need, really need the shop. So let's get rid of this shop. Okay, so account. So now we have just created a drop down of my account. So let's save this and have a look. In fact, we have a duplicate here. So let's get rid of one of these. So I'm gonna click on remove save and now we're going to take a look at the website and see what it looks like so over here on the menu we can see here we have about us your blog memberships contact login and my account so when you come over here to my account you can see your checkout details the cart and also the account pretty much we have what we need here so the next stage is to create our home page so we need to make our page quite attractive so that when people land on there they're most likely going to sign up onto our membership so let's go ahead and do that so here um we are on our home page so i'm going to enable the visual builder here so we're gonna build this from scratch. So the first thing I'm gonna need here is going to, is to just to have a full width header because we can easily customize this and make it look the way we need to. So again, I also prefer working with this snapped over to the left. So I'm gonna click on this button here to snap to the left. So now I can see my design as I'm working here. So now over here, we need to give a very good title. So I'm gonna say, um, have better relationships. So this is what our membership is about. It's all about improving our members, uh, our relationships, whether it's family, uh, marriage, uh, child to dad or dad to child, whatever it is, this is just all about achieving great relationships. So let's add this as our title. Now I'm adding this as the title, but of course, this website could be a membership of pretty much any type of website. It doesn't have to be a, web, a website to do with relationships. The techniques I'll be using throughout this tutorial can be used in any type of membership website. I think this is okay. So the button here, we might as well just quickly design it. So in fact, you know what, before you design the button here, we might as well add our background image because we need to see how that's gonna work together. So I'm gonna come over here to background and then I'm just going to click on the third tab 
click this plus button and I am going to choose the image. And my image here is already in my media library. So let me choose this one here, click upload an image. For this, I, you can, as you can see, I've got this dark text here. I mean, this light text on a pretty much light background. So in order for me to make this easier to read, I need to add a gradient. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to click here on this tab, click this plus button. For this to work, the first color here has to be black. So I'm just going to make it black. And my second color here could be transparent. So right now it's not showing, but in order for that to show, I just have to say place gradient above background image. So once I do that, it's now showing, but of course we want this over here to the left because this is where we have all our text. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna come over here and now I can play around with my gradient direction. So as you can see, as I'm moving this over here to the left, this is where the dark part is going to be. I can also adjust my start and end position. So here I can just add maybe about 18 just to really make this easier to read. So that pretty much looks really. So I'm gonna save this and then on the top here, I'm gonna delete this section because I don't really need it. Now I am going to go back here and make this section cover the whole page. So I'm gonna click here on design, layout, make full screen. So now we have a full screen of this. And what I may need to do now is to come over here to sizing because I don't want this to really span across the page like that. So I can actually reduce the content width here by just dragging the slider over here to the left. So I think I'm gonna be happy with 58%. Now this button here, to be honest, is quite visible. It's easy to read. So I'm at, I might as well just leave it as that. So I'm gonna save this. And now this is our main hero image. So as you can see, the way I've just created this quickly using Divi is the reason why I prefer using Divi when it comes to creating your pages because it just makes the whole process much, much easier. Okay, so let's move on to the next part. And this is the part where we want to showcase all our memberships. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button, click on regular. So first of all, we're gonna start with a single column. And in that column, we're gonna have text because we need to title this column here. So this is going to be pretty much our memberships. So what we may want to do here is to turn this into a heading. So let's say this is heading two, nice and bold. And then over here on design, I can actually come to my heading text here, click on heading two and align this to the center. And if I need to, I can also add some letter spacing that just as a design element. And then we're going to save. Next, let's add one more row. So I'm going to click on this plus button. And this time we're going to have three of them, right? So this is where we're going to add information about our memberships. So to do that, let's add a blurb. So I'm going to do most of my designs here, and then I'm just going to duplicate this just to make our pro the process much easier. So here we're going to call this gold. Okay, so this is going to be the, the gold membership. And then what I'm also going to do here is to just go to lorem 2 so I can start adding some dummy text. So I'm just going to copy some text here. So let's assume this will be the description of what our membership is about. So I'm just going to replace this text like that. And then here we can actually choose to have some images to go with these memberships if we need to. So let's try and do that. So I'm going to come over here to image and icon, and then I'm going to press, press over here. So the gold membership, let's say this one here is the ultimate pack. And this is pretty much, you know, information about how to make your relationships for the whole family better. Okay. So I'm just making this up as I'm actually designing this. Okay. So now let's come over here to design and we want our text to be centered. So I'm going to center everything just like that. And then I'm going to save. So that looks pretty much okay. So this is our gold membership. Now, the one thing that I can also do here is to maybe distinguish these memberships using color. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna come back over here. So I'm gonna click on this gear icon on my row settings. So our column here, what we could do is we can actually go in and add a background color. So let's start with this as our background color. So as you can see, now we've added color on our membership. So what we're going to do next is to give this some breathing space. So we're gonna to need to add some padding. So I'm gonna come back over here to my column, click on design, spacing. So let's start by adding, let's say 20, see how that looks. So I've just added 20 pixels to the top and 20 to the bottom. And I'm also going to do this to the left and the right. 
So let's add 20 to the left and the right. So now we have some breathing space around our design. And to be honest, I think this looks much better. Okay, so now that we have this, we need to copy the same settings that we've just Cop, uh, that we just added here onto the rest of the columns. So I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to right click and then click copy styles. And then I'm going to paste it again over here. So paste styles. And then I'm going to go back. I'm also going to paste the styles. Okay. Now you can see that I've also copied and pasted my colors. So all I have to do is to go back and just make sure I change those colors to the colors that I had chosen earlier on. So I'm going to click here on the second column, click on background. And this is going to be my color here. Go back. Click the third one, change my color. And this time I'm going to go with, okay, so I'm going to go with this really dark color. Right, so pretty much I have everything that I need. The next stage now is to come over here and change our text to white to make it easier to read. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon and then I'm going to click on design text and we're going to change it from dark to light. So now it's easier to read, save that. And all I have to do now is to copy and paste this module over here to these columns. So I can either duplicate it or I can just use my, my shortcuts, Command C and Command V. So I'm just gonna do this twice, drag this over here. And you'll notice as soon as I drag it, it will have all the spacing that we created in the other two columns. And this just makes the design process much, much easier. So this is our gold membership. Uh, let's call this bronze. I know the colors don't uh, work well. And let's call this silver. So these are the memberships. They also need a call to action. So we could actually say here, click here to join or click here to, uh, to sign up for the membership. So I guess perhaps we may want to add a button here. So let's click this plus button and add a button. So I'm just gonna search for it and select it. All right, so we have a button now. So I'm gonna say, get started. So next, this is where we need to add our link. So right now we're just gonna add a blank link. And then over here on the design, we first thing we're going to center this. And I think the button that really works throughout this is going to be a button which uh, has a, a light background. So I'm gonna just go and start customizing this button until I'm happy with how it looks. So I'm gonna come over here to button, use custom styles for button. I'm gonna reduce my text here to about, let's say 16. And for our text color, in fact, I'm gonna come back over here to our text color once I've added my background color. So for my background color, I'm gonna go ahead and add this really light color. And for my text color, I'm just gonna go with this. And finally, my button border width, I'm just gonna choose the same color as my button background. So as you can see, this is uh, very easy to create. I'm gonna save this. And now I'm just gonna duplicate this a few times and just drag this into position. So I know this is taking quite a bit of time. That is because we want to make sure that our landing page, the page which people see when they land on our website looks very attractive. So these are the memberships. This is our landing page and pretty much we are done. Of course, you can go ahead and add some testimonials over here on the bottom just to uh, give an idea of the visitor, how people you know, perceive the website or the actual service. Okay, great. So now that we've uh, created this, the next stage is to replicate or create these memberships over in our content management system. So this is very important because every time someone buys or signs up for this membership, it needs to tie in with, what, uh, with the data that we have in the content management system because this is where all the emails are going to be stored. So let's go ahead and do that. So we, need, we have uh, gold, bronze, and silver. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna come over here to ConvertKit and all we need to do here is to create some tags. So, I'm gonna create a brand new tag. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down here. So, and then I'm gonna click on create a tag. So my tag here is going to be gold. We'll click on save, add another one. This one is going to be silver, save it. Then one more, and this one needs to be bronze. Great. So we've added our tags, gold, silver, bronze. And as you can see here, there's no subscribers. Nothing is going on here. All we have is just the tags. So that's all we need to do over here. So the reason why this stage is very important is we want that when people sign up for whatever membership it is, they get added automatically to our CMS or our email autoresponder. So that is what is going to pretty much control the access of these members on the website. So the tool that we need now to be in the middle and communicate with your website and your CMS is WP Fusion. So this plugin is really, really powerful. And we're going to use this for the purpose of 
running a membership website, but it does quite a lot way beyond that. In this example, I'm just gonna show you how it controls your membership, but this is this will be a very, very good investment if you sign up uh, onto this because it works with um, situations where maybe you are running an e-commerce website. Let's say you're running a website that sells courses. It can be a membership website as, we, uh, as I'm talking about. It can be pretty much different, different scenarios. So now that we've added our tags, why don't we come over here now and create all our products over here now we're going to come to products and then click on add new so these are the membership now that i'm actually creating so our first one here is going to be gold and then over here we're going to give this a price so uh, the price could be pretty much whatever you want so i'm going to say for the gold membership it's going to be 9.99 and we don't have a sale price, so we're going to leave it as it is. And this as well is going to be a simple product. Okay, so I can, um, I can actually go ahead and add a description here if I need to. But of course, in fact, we might as well just do that. You know, let's add a description here so people know what the membership is about. We'll paste it. Okay, so that's the short description. And we also need to add a description over here. Okay, so this is our gold membership. Let's publish. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this URL and add it onto our main page because this is where we're going to link to to purchase our product or our membership. So I'm going to click on view product and this is where people come to purchase the membership. So now we want this to link to our main page where we have this button here. So let's go into the button. So what I've done here is I've just gone in and I've copied this link here on the top. Command C, if you're on a PC, it's Control C. Now let's add it to this button. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon, click on link, and then this is going to link to purchase the membership. So I'm gonna save that. Now, as you can see, this doesn't really look very attractive. So we might as well go back in here and give this an image. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna come back over here for our product image here. I'm just gonna choose our main image. So I'm going to go with that one. And what we may also need to do here is to remove the right sidebar. So I'm going to say no sidebar, click update. And now let's take a look at our membership. So I'm going to refresh the page. And now, as you can see, this looks way much better. We have an image here. We have the price, we have the description and we have the add to cart button. Okay. And over here we can have reviews and we also have the description. So that's our first membership. And now it's time to create the other two memberships so that everything is complete. So back over here, I'm gonna come back. So this is all done. I'm just gonna copy this description here to save myself time, all products. So let's add another one. So this one here is going to be bronze. We're gonna add our text in here, description text and the price. This one here could be six. So this one here could be 697. And as we did before over here, we're gonna remove the sidebar and we're also going to add an image. So this one here, okay, let's go with this image here. Click select. So we have our price, we've removed the sidebar, we've added an image and now we can publish. So again, as we did before, we're gonna click on view product. We're gonna open this in a new tab because what we're going to need to do here is to copy this URL. And of course, making sure that our page looks okay. And as we can see, this looks right. So back over here now, I'm just gonna close this. So now we need to come over here to this bronze and add our button link. So I'm gonna come over here and paste my link and save. Finally, we need to create uh, the silver one. So back, close that. So for the silver one, just like what we did before, we just, we're just gonna click on add new and add our new membership. So this one here is silver, copy my dummy text and paste it. And I'm also going to paste the uh, short description here. Right, and then finally, we just add our image. So the image we're gonna go with here is, let's go with this one here. I'm gonna select my, set my image product image. And then I'm also going to remove the sidebar just to make sure my pages look all the same. Right, so I'm just publishing this page and then I'm also need to click on view products just like what we did before and copy the link. So again, this one here looks really nice and these are the related products as you can see. It's looking great. I'm gonna copy this URL like that and then back over here. Oh, where is it? Oh, here we go. I'm gonna add my URL. So I'm gonna come over here to link and paste my link and then save. So now let's save the page and test and see if our links are going to the proper membership. So this is very important because of course you want that when people come to your website, they're clicking the right membership and it's going to the right payment page. So now I'm just gonna scroll down here. You can see all our memberships. 
So I'm just gonna test one of these. And as you can see, it's going to the right page. So people now are ready to purchase the membership by clicking on add to cart. And you can see here, this is added to the cart. You can view the cart here. So we can go ahead and do that. And there's the other cart. If you have a coupon code, they can apply the coupon code here. And then to finally make the payment, they can just click on proceed to checkout or check out with PayPal. Great, so now we've created our homepage. We've created the memberships and we've also created the tags in our CMS, which is ConvertKit. Now let's add WP Fusion so that the whole system now works together. Okay, so over here on WP, uh, WP Fusion, this is a really powerful plugin because it works with these current CRMs, Infusionsoft, ActiveCampaign, Entrepot, Drip. So the one I use is ConvertKit, but of course, if you use MailChimp, you can use MailChimp, Aweber. You can even integrate this with Intercom. So it's really, really, really powerful. So I highly recommend that you use this. So now that we've covered this, I'm just gonna come over here to my account. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and copy my license key, and then come over here to my downloads, and then I'm gonna download WP Fusion. Now, for those of you that may be wondering how much does it cost for WP Fusion, I'm just gonna come over here to pricing, and over here, these are the prices. Now, of course, you're gonna be saying, oh, wow, that's really expensive. Um, but as I mentioned, this is an investment. This $247 is pretty much gonna make you even more money as you set up your membership website. So let's say your first membership is, uh, it costs, let's say, $247. Seven, you can make this just by uh, one client. So pretty much you've made your money back. And the rest of the clients you're gonna get after that is pretty much profit. So that's how I look at it. So now that we've downloaded uh, WP Fusion, let's go ahead and install it. So I'm gonna come over here. And since it's a plugin, I'm gonna come over here to plugins and click on add new. I'm gonna click upload a plugin, choose file. And this is gonna be my downloads folder. I'm gonna double click on it on install now and then activate. So the first time I used WP Fusion, to be honest, I was like, what really has happened here? Because you don't see much much of a change once you install the plugin, but you start, seeing, you start seeing where the plugin appears as you start working on your website. Okay, so now that I've done this, in fact, there's so much here that I need to get rid of. But anyway, I'll leave that for now. So here with WP Fusion, uh, you can see here it's been uh, installed. So to activate it, all you need to do here is to activate your license key. So I'm gonna come over here. I've already copied my license key, so I'm going to paste it, okay? And then over here now, because this plugin needs to communicate with our CRM, we need to select our CRM and make sure that these two are talking together. So mine is ConvertKit. I'm gonna click here on ConvertKit. And now we need to add our API key, which is right here, and test the connection. Okay, so everything works fine. It has synced all the tags. And then finally, I need to activate my license here. So I'm gonna click on activate license. So it looks like everything is all done. I'm gonna save changes. And then I'm just gonna close this. Okay, so there's a few things that uh, we may want to take a look at here. So. Now that we've added our uh, ConvertKit configuration and the license key, there's also some general steps here that you may want to take a look at. So let's come over here and just do a quick overview. So here, uh, what we can do automatically here is create new contents in ConvertKit when users are added in WordPress. So this is very actually very good. So I'm gonna leave that checked. And then here you can also synchronize data between your website and the CRM. So that option is here as well. So over here, this is where you may want to add a URL when uh, let's say someone tries to access the content, which is for members only. So we are going to come back over here and set it up. Okay, uh, contact fields, we don't need to worry about that to be honest, but of course, let's just go ahead and check these. So we want to make sure that our fields that we need are the first name and the email address. So over here, I'm just gonna match my fields here in ConvertKit with what's happening here on WordPress. So I'm gonna come over here and make sure that this is aligned with the first name, like that. And then email, we need to also come over here and set this to email. So these two now are connected, which is great. And then everything that happens now, we're going to know uh, pretty much that everything is going to be in sync. 
So there's also other things that we can uh, link to here. Now, this is all advanced. This is something that we may need to do at a later stage, but you can also uh, link this with your Google Analytics and lead uh, source tracking. And then over here, we can also do WooCommerce. So we can also apply a first name and last name as people are buying products using WooCommerce. And we also have additional fields. So I'm just going to click on Save Changes because the most important ones are the... Um, convert kit ones okay next we're going to come over here to integrations and we can also apply tags to customers so when someone buys we can uh, apply a tag to them and uh, we could just call this customer so you need to actually create the tag beforehand in convert kit before it can show up here next we're going to come over here so let's say you have a brand new website but you also have uh, people that you have on your list on your mailing list you can actually import them onto your website just by coming over here and um, choosing the tag that you need to uh, import down to now this was a time saver for me because when i switched over to uh, WP Fusion, I already had customers who had already bought the stuff on my um, on my membership website when I was using a different plugin. So this is where I came in. I added the plugin, I mean the, the tag, and pulled everyone from my uh, ConvertKit account who had bought a specific membership down to my website. So that was pretty much seamless. So this is why this tool is really, really cool. And then over here on the setup, in fact, we've been to this page already. Next, we're gonna come over here to advanced and then you can also apply or get a notification when someone unsubscribes. And there's also other, it other, other items here that you can activate. But to be honest, I don't really work on that. Now over here, this is where you can actually do some batch operations. You can uh, resync tags. Let's say things are pretty much not matching. You can resync the tanks here the tags and create a background task. All right, so pretty much that's all that is to WP Fusion. And as I mentioned, this may seem like it's not a big deal, but you know what? You're going to start seeing the power of WP Fusion as I'm setting up the pages here. Let's come back over here to our products now that we've installed WP Fusion. So over here on the products, I'm going to click on all products. So let's start with silver this time. I'm going to click on edit. So when we scroll down here, you'll notice that you have a new entry here called WP Fusion. So this is now the power of using WP Fusion because right away over here we can apply tags. So now since this is the silver membership, we want that when someone buys the silver membership, they applied a tag which then gives them access to the content that we're going to create on this website. Okay, so over here now, let's assign the tag. So WP Fusion, apply tag when purchased. So our tag here is Let's just make sure we're on the right membership. So this is silver. So now let's look for our silver tag. Here we go. I'm going to select it. Apply tags when refunded. Again, if, if you want to do that, you can also uh, go to your convert kit, apply, uh, create a tag which says refunded. And every time someone refunds, they will automatically uh, get the tag removed so that they don't automatically get uh, continue getting access to the membership. But of course, we're not gonna, we're not gonna add that. So we're gonna leave this as it is. So that's our WP Fusion. So as soon as someone buys this product, they're going to be uh, added with this silver tag. So I can see we forgot to add our price here. So I'm just gonna add 97, click update. So we need to do the same for the other products. So I'm gonna come back over here. So we've done silver, let's go to bronze. So again, when someone buys the bronze membership, we want to make sure that they get the bronze tag. So I'm going to scroll the way down here, choose bronze, click on update. Now let's do the final one. And this is the gold. Click on edit and then come over here to WP Fusion. This one here is gold. I'm going to select that and then click update. At this stage, we've pretty much set up our membership. So the question you may be asking is, well, how do we restrict the content that we've created on the website? So let's go ahead and create a few pages. Okay, so what we're going to do before we actually go in and uh, add all our content, let's create the page which shows up as an error when someone tries to view content that they are not a member of. So we're going to come over here to pages, click on all pages. So pretty much we have quite a few pages here, but the page we're going to create is called error. So in fact, we have it here. So I'm just going to click on 
on view so I can see what we have. So anyway, we've just created a page. There's nothing on it. So let's go ahead and design this page. So we're going to build this from scratch and we just need a single column here and we're going to have a blurb. So here we can just say error page you're trying to access is for members only. Okay, so I've said the content you're trying to access is for members only. Click here to become a member. Okay, great. So this link now needs to go to the page which has all the memberships. And that page is pretty much our homepage. So I'm going to add a link to this. I'm going to highlight this. Click here. Click on this chain. Paste my link. Okay, so I've added my link there. Great. Now, let's do a bit of a design onto this page. So I'm going to click here on image and icon. This time we're going to go with an icon. So to show that this is an error, we just need something that just shows that something is wrong. So let's go with this triangle here. Now, as well as that, we also want to make sure that our text here and all our information is centered. So let's come over here to design text, align center, great. And the color of this icon needs to change. So I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna hover over here and click on this brush tool. And then we're going to give this a color. Now, this color here is from our color scheme, so that's all good. So as you can see here, we don't have enough breathing space on the top and the bottom. Let's go ahead and fix that by coming over here to sizing. So we are going to give this a minimum height. So let's say minimum height of, let's say 580. And let's save. I'm going to save the page. So this is our error page. I am going to exit the Visual Builder. So when we click here, this should take us to the home page. So what I need to do now is to copy this URL, this error, because this is what we need to add to WP Fusion by default. So every time someone tries to access something they don't have access to, this page is what kicks in. So I'm gonna come back over here to my dashboard and then we're gonna go to settings, WP Fusion. So here on the general tab, all we need to do is to scroll down here until you get to the default redirection. So this is the link that people should go to when they don't have access to any of our content. Okay, so now that I've just added this, I'm going to go ahead now and save changes. Now it's time to create all our content and make sure that we give it access. So I'm going to come over here to pages and click on add new. So now you can create as many pages as you want. It could be blog posts. It could be, you know, pretty much whatever it is. Okay. So what we're going to do now is to start creating our contents for our website and apply the restrictions. So for this page, this page I'm going to create is only going to be accessible to anyone who has gold membership. So to do that, we're going to take a look over here to the right. So make sure you have document here selected, and then you want to scroll all the way down here until you see WP Fusion. So what you want to do is to make sure that you check this box here, because this users must be logged in to view this page, required tags. So this is where now we can add the membership that we want. So we want this to be uh, gold. So anyone with a gold tag will be able to access this content. Okay. So that's pretty much very, very easy, very, very straightforward. So I'm just going to publish this and then I'm going to come over here now and design the content for our page. So you can either do this in um, the Gutenberg editor, or you can design this in Divi. So for this example, I'm going to design this in Divi. So I'm going to come over here, click on edit with Divi builder. And then I'm going to click on start building. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a page here. So I'm going to click on full width. And what I need here is a page title. So the one that I need is full width post title. Okay. Now we can start designing this by coming over here to background. You can give this a background color or we can give this a background image. So let's come over here and add an image instead. So I'm going to click on this plus button and the image we're going to go with is let's say, let's go with this one here, upload an image. And then I'm just going to save this for now because I need to delete what we have here on the top. And then I'm going to go back in and start working on this. So first of all, I'm going to come over here to design, change my text to from dark to light, make it easier to read. And 
we can choose to have this you know, centered if we need to. And over here, we can see it says by Mac admin, 1st of August, no comments, blah, blah, blah. We can either choose to leave this as it is, or if you want to get rid of it, you can come over here to elements and then show author. You can get rid of that. And perhaps you want to leave the, uh, the article date and maybe you don't want to show the comments. So again, you can just remove the comments here just by clicking that but I'm just gonna leave that as it is. Okay, so now let's work on the design. So I'm gonna click here on the design tab, spacing. Now we need to give this some margins, I mean some padding. So let's start by just dragging and make sure it's applied both to the top and the bottom. Okay, so I think I'm happy with uh, 260 because this pretty much shows most of the image. And now over here on the text, we can go in and make it even darker or even bigger if you want to. So let's go to our text size, uh, increase the text size here, nice and big. So I think 58 is good. And by the way, as you're designing this, you can also design for mobile. So let's say you wanna have a look at how this looks like on a mobile device. You can just click on this little icon, click on tablet, and you can see on the tablet, it looks beautiful. And on the phone, it looks okay, but you can reduce the size as well if we need to to about let's say 36. So now let's continue adding all our content. So I'm gonna save this. Now our image here, we wanted to show the heads. We don't want the head to be cut off. So uh, to fix that, we're just gonna come back over here to background, click on the image tab. And while we're here on the image, you can see here the image position is centered. So we want to say top center. Okay, now uh, we're going to see the head the heads of this couple. So I'm gonna save this and as you can see, this looks much better. And we can also go in and adjust um, this padding by just reducing this a little bit if we need to. But uh, to be honest, I think I'll just leave it as it is. Right, so the next stage now is to add more content. So I'm gonna click here on regular. So I'm gonna add, let's say two columns. So on the left column, I'm gonna add a video. So this is the content now that is accessible to pretty much the gold members. So we have a video here. Let's go in and give this video a, a bit of a design. So let's come over here to play icon. In fact, before we add our play icon, we need to add an image overlay. So I'm gonna click here on overlay and our image. And uh, let's say this is going to be our first image here. So I'm gonna select it, click upload an image. So this makes the thumbnail just look much, much better. Okay, so that's our first. Uh, and then I can also design this play icon. As you can see, it's way too big. So I'm gonna come over here to sizing and no, making sure you're on the play icon. Use custom size, and then we're just gonna make this slightly smaller. So I usually go with 50, and if we need to change the color as well, we can change the color, but you know what? I'm just gonna leave it at that, and then save. And then over here, we can add some text. So I'm just gonna add my text module here, and I'm just gonna copy a bunch of dummy text from Lorem 2. Okay, and then I'm gonna paste it in here like that, and we might as well have a title here. Make sure that this starts with a capital C. And this also is, let's say, heading two. Okay, so that looks much better now. I'm gonna save. So we have this video, we have the text to go with it. So you can actually add even more videos here or more text, but of course, for the purposes of this demonstration, this is pretty much uh, to show you how we can restrict access or we can allow access to all the content that we're going to be creating on our website. So I'm gonna save this page and exit the Visual Builder. All right. Okay, so that's looking great. The access that you apply to all these, I mean, to your website can also be to blog pages. It can be to individual pages. It's just pretty much up to you. So we are going to, I think we have some few things here in the blog. So as you can see, we have these uh, basic items that I've just created in the blog. So let's say you want to restrict access in the blog as well. You can come over here, choose this uh, and click on edit post. And then over here now, this is where you can scroll down. And again, as we did before, you can say users must be logged in and the tag needs to be, and this time let's say this is silver. Okay, so now anyone that has the silver tag is the only one that can access this. So you can just click update. So pretty much we are done. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add that page that I've just created uh, to make it easier to, for us to, to, uh, to access and show you how it's going to restrict or allow um, access. So now I'm going to go and take a look at our website here in, in incognito mode. So first of all, let's open the page. It's called Five Steps to Success. And let's click on View. So this is the page. I'm going to copy this URL. And then I'm going to open my browser in incognito mode. Okay, so now that we're using incognito mode, this article here should not be accessible to me because I am not a member of the gold membership. So let's see if that works. And also, if you recall, we set up a page, the error page, which shows you once you go to that content that you don't have access to. So I'm going to hit enter. And as you can see, it shows an error straight away. And then here, this is where you can just click here to become a member. So I'm going to click on that. And then now I can just scroll down. Okay, these are the memberships. I'm going to come over here and choose the gold membership. Add to cart. View cart. So now you can actually proceed to check out, you know, purchase this. And once you go through this whole process of adding your name, last name, blah, 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 all this, continue to payment. Once you pay... When you go to the same URL, you are going to get access. So this is how you create a membership website that controls your members using a CMS. But the most important thing here is the plugin. So anything that updates over there in the CMS is going to be updated onto your website. For example, let's say you have set up your payments to be recurring and every month, for example, uh, the membership is supposed to be renewed. Now, what will happen is if the user cancels their membership, there's no way of you knowing that they've canceled the membership. So what happens is this system automatically works on its own. So what happens is if, you, if someone cancels, the tag is applied that the customer has canceled the membership and then the CMS gets updated. So once it gets updated, it removes the tag that was added initially which is, for example, the gold tag and replaced with membership cancelled, right? So once that happens now, when, when, uh, when someone tries to, or the same user tries to access the, 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 the website, they won't be able to go in because the tag that they used to have to access the content has now changed because they've cancelled their membership. Now, notice that you haven't done anything here to facilitate that. The, the website itself is working on its own. It's like a machine. So this is how you pretty much want to run your membership websites because there's no way of, of telling if someone has canceled or not while you are running your membership website. So the idea here is fantastic because it takes you away from manually running your membership website and uh, having your website to work automatically. So this is why I prefer this system especially if you're running uh, subscriptions, which renew after every month or after every six months or after every year. This is done automatically and all this can be set up. And I know this is not pretty much... So tell me what you think. If you have any questions regarding this setup, please uh, send me all your questions in the comments box below and I'll do my best to respond to them. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.